By shopping at sportbikewrench.com, you're supporting onthethrottle.tv and their efforts to bring you the best sport bike videos on the web. Sportbikewrench.com, performance parts, professional advice. Probably more nervous uh, going into this race than I have been in a long time. Uh, just so many variables. You know, it's a new bike, a new series. Uh, you know, usually when you go racing, you, you've got a handle on what could go wrong. But with the with the TTX GP, you know, a brand, brand new bike, brand new series, and uh, so it was uh, had me a bit concerned. But the crew had a handle on it. We never had any issues all weekend. We just kept plugging along, making improvements on the bike. Uh, kept going quicker and quicker so uh it speaks a lot for the uh, level of the support and uh, the commitment of the team uh going into the race I, I knew mike mike barnes would be the main competition his bike's been really fast and he's been learning how to ride it and been quicker each session as well so my, uh, he was very quick off the line with like we expected and actually caught me a little bit off guard i saw him pulling away and i was like counting the seconds he was going away i'm like okay this is this could get bad if i don't get on him quick <laughs> <laughs> So um, I cleared a couple of the other guys off the start and uh, just put my head down and um, started to size Michael up. And we had a good uh, three, two, three laps battling back and forth. We could get by him on the tighter stuff and, uh, you know, just try to draft him down the straight or stay with him as close as we could down the, down the fast stuff. And um, you know, it's a, it was like a strategy uh, race, like uh, similar to an endurance race for me because I was looking at our battery voltage, knowing our range capabilities, and uh, I just didn't want to take any chances of uh, coming up short at the end. So uh, looking at the voltmeter and keeping Mike in check uh, worked work pretty well. And once we saw the halfway flag, uh, I, f I felt comfortable that we had enough voltage to get to the end and, and uh, you know, really put my head down and turn some quick laps to, to finish off strong. I have to say, it looked really spectacular, uh, certainly from where we were up, up here in the, in, the, in the start lane. But, I mean, when you were passing each other, it was so quiet. Did you like to say any words, exchange any <laughs> thoughts? I thought about it. One time I actually did uh, tap the horn going up the hill into turn one to let them know I was still back there. But <laughs> <laughs> Mike? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot different than, uh, than uh, your combustion engines where you, you can hear somebody coming up behind you. And uh, thank God I've raced so much with Sean. I trust him. Trust him with my life every corner, every lap. So, uh, you know, I knew that wherever he stuck it in there, it was going to be nice and safe. But you got no idea. All of a sudden, you know, there he is. So, uh, well, you know, my strategy at the beginning was just pretty much to, to go hard at the beginning. I figured that I'd have to be chasing him a little bit. But I, I didn't count on the rocket start that the lightning motors was going to give me. And uh, so I just just kind of hung in there as best I could to, to keep on passing them on the straightaways. And I, I was, I was kind of surprised at the competitiveness at the beginning. We went slower than qualifying and, and I felt like I was going faster than qualifying. So, so that just tells me how much, uh, Sean was conserving at the beginning and trying to save it towards the end. Um, and I, I had a little bit of strategy as far as that was concerned power wise as well, that I figured I'd go, go hard three or four laps and, uh, and make sure that I didn't run out towards the end. Uh, it's, you know, it's not, not really good for these machines to run out of, run out of power. You cause some damage, and and uh, so that was on the forefront of my mind. It's to not damage the motorcycle, and uh, we've made a tremendous amount of improvements on the Lightning motorcycle this this weekend. Uh, it's the first time I've seen the motorcycle. First time I've ridden it, and uh, it's a it's a big heavy motorcycle, and and uh, it's only it's only history as far as I know is uh, is at Bonneville. So uh, to bring it out on a road race course, uh, much less. Uh, Infineon Raceway is you know, quite the challenging track for uh, for a heavy motorcycle. So we we made tremendous strides over the weekend with uh, with stiffening it up and raising the bike up and keeping stuff from dragging. But there's white marks all over the racetrack for my fairings that uh, that people are probably wondering what's that? Where's that? You know, totally offline. You know, get in wide and then just start dragging. So uh, we were kind of worried about you when you kind of slowed down. Put some little Duracell bunny ad. Uh, yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. But, but what happened so, then? Uh, the Duracell sure. Bunny was was still banging the banging the drums. We were still doing good on power. It just uh, it's got a it's got a system to where 
if it if it's receiving too much power it'll it'll trip the system and uh in practice it would just die and i'd have to reset it for about reboot you know control alt delete to get it going again <laughs> and uh but they they built a, a system into the software over the weekend to where it would reset uh, 10 times and it hadn't happened as frequent in in practice and qualifying so we really didn't think that we'd go over 10 and uh, when i got up to about eight nine sometimes do two in a row and then they cut out again i was like oh boy i'm gonna be sitting here for about 45 seconds so i'm i'm counting and i'm looking back and looking for third place looking for third place and counting and uh reset rebooted it and uh, off i went again so and and i saw saw sean and i didn't know if that was third and actually it was sean lapping me so i just kind of <laughs> <laughs> kind of just uh you know tucked in and and brought it home at the end so I, I just can't thank lightning motors enough richard hatfield for giving me this opportunity and look forward to uh developing this bike further and especially looking forward to road america so mike how was your how was your race uh, yeah, my race uh, was a little bit different than these two. Um, it, it looked like from the get-go that, that Sean and Mike were, were going to have the bikes that to run out front, and, and we were going to be kind of hoping to battle for the third-place position or hoping hoping something would go wrong with one of these two guys. Um, so after I saw them start to clear out, uh, me and Thad Wolf had a little bit of a battle, which was interesting, um, his bike being the, the old Norton featherbed right. chassis and, and mine being a, a modern TZ250 Grand Prix-style chassis. Um, he had a little more power than me, but I, I definitely had the handling advantage. So, you know, kind of like these guys, I'd pass him in the corners and he'd go back by me on the straights. Um, he had some sort of issue with his bike, and, and I knew I'd be pro probably solid for a podium. Um, I had another another guy behind me um, kind of pushing me, and I figured if I if I, if I I kept pushing and I could get him to uh, to keep trying to chase me and maybe burn his burn his stuff up, um, you know, then we'd have a safe third. And it looked like that's what happened with their bike. Um, I was confident our electricracebikes.com bike would, would make it to the finish. Um, we did have to, to, you know, I had to do a little bit of modulation and conserving to make sure that, that it would actually make the finish, but uh, it was able to make it no problem. Um, so, you know, after that, it was rather unavailable. Luckily, uh, I, I was thankful Sean Sean did go by me because that was one less lap that, that we had to do. So <laughs> then, I, then I was, then once I saw him go by and lap me, I knew for sure we'd be fine, you know, so, uh, but it, it was it was a good race for us. Oh, there we are.